Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to be doing a look using one of the Essence Mini Six Pan Eyeshadow Palettes. Now, I've never used any of Essence eyeshadows before, so this will be a first for me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the pack, the palettes I picked up. I have five of the palettes. Um, I have the Taupe, Taupe It Up, and it's like a gray toned eyeshadow palette. This is what this one looks like. Uh, the Taupe It Up eyeshadow palette. And then I have the um, I Like to Mob It, Mob It, which is a light lavender. Um, and it's a purple, purple, <laughs> purple, purple color scheme. This is what that one looks like. Um, then we have Ice Ice Baby, which is in a light blue packaging. And this is the color scheme. And I believe these were $3.99 if I'm not mistaken. $3.99 or $2.99, one of them. Then we have the Dancing Green. And I think it was maybe one more in the collection. I'm not 100% sure. Now this is really pretty. This is the green um, color scheme. And then we have the Coral Me Maybe, which is the peachy coral tones. We're going to be using this one today because I'm getting ready for work. And I do not know what I'm wearing because I feel like when you do tones like this, you can pretty much wear um, anything with it. So we're going to dive into this one. And I did prime my eyes with the Anastasia's primer um, just so I can get that lighter base. Because like I said, I've never used these shadows, so I do not know how they're going to perform. I know I shouldn't be doing this going to work, but we're going to work it out and see what we're going to do. So let's get started with this. I look so first I want to go ahead and go in with let's do the first shade in the palette which is this lighter matte peachy shade and we're going to put that all in our um, crease area and I'm going to use this Morphe 518 brush and it's just this fluffy blending brush and it does have kickback but you know I'm always saying it's not a problem to me so I'm just going to lightly blend it right in the crease area. And I'm just going in circular motions. And we're going to put a little bit more. And I, I only went in with just this... Um, eyeshadow base instead of concealer because like I said I've never used their shadows and I didn't want to um, be sitting here trying to pack on a lot of shadows on a thicker thicker base because this is like a really 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 light light shadow and I'm just going up a little bit towards the brow bone because the shade is so so light and peachy so now we're going to take the same shade on the other brush and start placing it and blending it right in the crease area if you have these palettes um, let me know your thoughts on them like I said this is my first time using their brand of shadow I love their mascaras and uh, lip glosses and stuff but I've never used their shadows. So I'm just packing a little bit more in. It's not looking too bad. It's like really, really light. Uh, which you don't expect a whole, whole lot of pigment. Um, in essence, shadows. Well, I'm not going to say essence in shadows that are maybe around this price point. Um, as you would any other shadow that you spend a little bit more money on not saying that they're going to be you know as good or as pigmented but more than likely be a little more pigmented than this palette it's like on a really really light 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 side so now we're going to go in with the second matte shade on the second row and i'm going to stick that right on top of this shade just to see if i can deepen it up just a little bit and we're going to place it right in the crease area on top of the other shade. And we're using the same uh, blending brush. 
And this is some good shadow formula for beginners. If you are um, a beginner to eyeshadows, because eyeshadows can be very, very, very intimidating when they're really pigmented until you learn how to blend them. I've been down that road and still going down that road, but it does happen. So I would definitely say if you want to start out light with a light hand, these are some good um, palettes for that. Now, I don't know how intense the blue and the green palettes are because I never used them, but this peach is like perfect. It's really, really nice though. So now we're going to go in with the um, the ColourPop E9 brush. It's just this fluffy pencil brush. And we're going to go in with the deeper shade. And that's the last shade on the top row. And we're going to pop this in our outer V. And see, you know, if it gives it a little depth. I'm just going to blend it. And I'm lightly blending because I don't want to move around the corally shade. And I'm not going up in my crease. We're keeping it right there on that outer V closer to that lash line going towards the outer V. I'm just going to lightly pack so I can deepen up just a little bit. It's not too bad. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye. Just lightly blending. Then we're going to put a little bit more. Blend. And I think it's doing pretty good. It's not separating or anything like that. So now we're going to take a little bit more and just pack it like we did this eye. Just to make sure we have that uh, deeper shade placed on that outer V. And we're just packing. And we're lightly packing. And then you want to lightly blend a little bit. These edges. Okay, so I am liking this so far. So we're going to go back in with this Morphe brush with the um, second shade, the matte shade, to make sure we have it back in our crease area. You want to lightly place it and blend. And I'm doing the windshield wiper motions um, this time. Just so we can make sure it's placed right in that crease area okay cool i'm liking it so now we're going to go in with our two faced glitter glue because i don't think you're gonna get any more pigment out of that than what's on my eyes so we're gonna go on with the rest of the look and we're going to take the I've been liking using a fluffy brush lately, fluffy or flat brush, when applying this glitter glue. Um, I think it saves a little bit more time. So we're going to just place it on the lid, going towards the inner corner of the eye, starting with the center of the lid, and just kind of placing a little bit right in the crease area. I'm not going to go all the way over my lid because we're going to apply a shimmer shade on it. Now we're going to take the rest of it. And I know it's a lot, a lot more than what I normally use. But since it's on this brush, it packs it out really well than it would if, it was, if I was doing it with my finger with that much product. So we're going to do the same thing. Pat it to the inner corner and up in the shape of your crease. So we can place some shadows on this glitter glue. So 
So now we're going to go with the shimmer shades. So I want to start out with, let's place the last shade in the palette on the lid. Let's see what type of shade that is. It's like a pretty peachy. Let's see what the other ones look like before I do that. Ooh, that one's pretty. This is, these are the three shimmer shades. Can you guys see? I think I'm going to top that shade. If I can remember which one that was. The middle shade. I'm going to pop that shade on my lid area where I placed the glitter glue. Just going to get a good amount on the back of the brush. And place it on top of the sh um, glitter glue. And make sure you place it right in that crease area by lightly tapping that crease area. So we're going to take the same thing on the other eye, pack, pack most of it into the center, and then I like to work the rest into the inner corner, because I like more of my shimmers to sit right in that um, middle area of the eye. And we're going to pat, 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 pat it on, and up in the crease, just dab it lightly. And make sure it's placed really good and I like to double coat it when I'm doing that so I'm going to take my um, brush one more time and place again just to make sure the um, the glitter glue is coated well with the shadow I think that is pretty. So now we're going to go back in with this Morphe brush with the same deeper shade, peachy shade, and make sure it's back in our crease again. And we're doing the windshield wiper motions and circular on the outer. And what I'm doing is just making sure this pigment is built up you know, as um, deeper as it can get with the rest of the shadows. So I'm liking how this is coming together. So now we're going to go back in with this pencil brush. I'm not applying any more shadow right now, but we're going to blend out this deeper brown shade into the um, shimmer shade. And you're going to lightly Flick the two shades together and blend them. Where, it, where that harshness started, like on this eye. You want to make sure you diffuse those edges. And the same thing again. For this eye. Now I want to apply a little bit more deeper brown um, since I have it blended and just place it back mainly in this outer V because I don't want to lose the depth of that shadow on my lid. And I'm just blending in this circular motions in the shape of this V. And placing the shadow on the side of my brush. So I can get that good blending effect going on. Okay, so I think that should do it. 
So now I'm going to take this Morphe brush one last time and make sure, and I'm lightly blending to make sure everything is seamless. So now our last step, what I want to do is take my Elf Total Face Palette. You guys have not seen this in a while. And I am going to take the last shade because I love this shade, especially using lighter shades like this. But you don't want to take away from the look. We're going to just stamp that shade all under the brow bone area where I carved out my eyes with my concealer. And it's also a great natural shade for me when I'm doing lighter shades like this. Um, so my two shades from my brow bone down to my crease you know are blended well together so that's why I like to use a shade that's closer to my skin tone when I'm doing this so now we're going to clean the same Morphe brush off and blend those two areas together in circular motions and windshield wiper motions I think this performed beautifully. So let's blend the deeper shade a little bit more. And I'm going back in with this color pop brush. And I'm not adding any more shadow to the brush. Just blending. Okay, so I think that should do it for now. We're going to take our makeup wipe. And I already have some micellar water on it. And we're going to do the norm, clean up under our eye area. And it didn't have really any fallout on my face. But it does have a little kickback in the pan, but not too, too much. But, uh, but you know, a little bit. So, we're going to clean up the rest. And we're going to zoom you guys in to see the final eyeshadow. And see if we need to correct anything while we are here. This performed like really, really good for the price point. I do like it. Um, now, while we're in, I do need to do a little more blending now that I'm looking at it. So, I need a more denser brush. Let's take this um, Jasponique. It's more of a fluffy brush because I feel like these edges are like more harsh than I would like them to be. So, we're going to just blend in circular motions and blend these edges and this crease area that's why I like to zoom in too when I'm doing it says much better than this eye so I do the same thing just kind of blend those edges in circular motions because you want to make sure you really diffuse your edges when you're blending shadows if you don't want that um harsh look and you know take a more denser brush and it should take care of the harshness okay just going back in circular motions again so that diffused it a little better than it was Okay, so I don't think we're going to get any better than this, so we're going to keep moving with the eye look. So I think that is pretty. Turned out pretty good, like I said, for the price point. You can't beat the um, performance of the shadow. So now I'm going to go off camera, do the rest of my face, and we'll be back with the final look. See you guys in a bit. So welcome back. This is the final look. I do love the overall look. I like how the um, palette performed for the price point. It wasn't too bad. It didn't give me any, any problems placing the shadow or anything like that. Uh, this is the final look of the eye. I did not apply any more eyeshadows. But what I do want to do is go back in with the palette and the end of the flat brush that I used to place these shimmers. And I do want to take a little bit more of this shadow and make sure it's on my lid with a little more um, sparkle 
from placing my liner and lashes. I just want to make sure I have that um, shimmer popping up into my crease on my lid. So that's all we're going to do with that. For my brow bone area, I highlighted with my Wet n Wild um, Hummingbird Hype, which is one of my favorites. And I used my Profusion 3 palette to um, blush with those three and highlight with that shade on my cheek area. Um, like I said, I do like how it turned out. I hope you guys like how it turned out. If you have these palettes, let me know your thoughts on them. Like I said, I do like this coral one. Um, I plan on using the other shades in a in an upcoming video. I'm not sure how soon it's going to be, but I'm definitely going to be using them. It did not take too much to work with the that one shade I used. So I'm excited about the other shades because it's really, really light. Like I said, if you want some color and you want don't want a whole lot of pigment and you're new to eyeshadows, that would be a great option. For my lashes today, I used the La Flair 3D Folks Mink Lashes, Link, <laughs> Mink Lashes in the style LFSD20. I don't really know how I feel about these completely. They are light, but they're more on the shinier side where they're not as soft but they're gonna work for today i don't know if i'll purchase anymore this is the only style i have um from la flair in this style don't know if i'll be repurchasing those i bronze with my anastasia um bronzer in cappuccino which is this shade here and it, it gives my face a nice warmth i did not contour this morning because i was pressed with time and for my lips today, I used my Iconic London Lip Gloss, and I lined with my MAC Nightingale Lip Liner to do this look. And I set my face with my Morphe Madison Beer, and this is the lighter shade, Seal the Deal. I think that's the shade, yeah. Seal the Deal, and it's the lighter, luminous, kind of highlighting shade. So that completes the look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.